Good evening, Tomoida. A warm welcome to today's Thank you. Session. Thank you for having me. So Tonmoida, there is nothing to introduce you. Uh, the whole world, especially the music lovers from all across the world, know you, knows you, and especially the contribution you made in global music is so phenomenal that even the audiences who are not even with core music, they also are familiar with your name. Predominantly for uh, your extraordinary input to Indian classical music. But again, you are one of the foremost interpreter of Indian music in the world stage at this moment. And I can remember now, let us perhaps start with this session uh, with profound tribute to Pandit Shubhankar Benerji. I can remember I was talking to you over the phone. You were coming back from a festival. Um, I forgot the name of the festival. And you were perhaps on the train. And uh, after talking to me briefly, you passed Lek. the phone. You passed the phone to Shubhankar uh, And uh, uh, equally, he will. His name will Beach be. Beach Festival. Which festival? And you, you beach, were talking beach about festival. Beach, yeah, beach festival. And that happened uh, in the seaside. You were talking about the romantic side of the the full uh, moon, festival. full moon. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So let us uh, perhaps uh, uh, the whole musical world uh, will remember. For some reason, your voice is breaking. If you can speak a little louder, because it's not clear to me. Uh, uh, is it a bit clear now? Is it a bit clear? I'm come. Yeah, it's better now. Thank you. So definitely, the whole world will remember uh, his extraordinary contribution to world music, Hindustani classical music. Uh, but let us start with one uh, uh, question. First of all, Don um, I mean, like I mentioned at the beginning of of this. Uh, session of this conversation that whole world knows you whole world knows uh, your phenomenal contribution in music but when i was talking to you over the phone uh, i find something extraordinary i find something so stupendous uh, especially your connection to baul and vishnu music so and and, and then I did a bit of research on you, and then I found so many times you were venerating um, contemporary bowls in India, uh, bowing your head, uh, and then uh, promoting this philosophy uh, so passionately. So first of all, let us start how you were intrigued by this philosophy. Definitely, you you are you have a profound philosophical philosophical side because Indian classical music is is definitely not just music, it's philosophy. But then, as a as a classical musician, uh, always uh, we saw that they have a bit of distance from folk music because Baul is classified as folk music. How did you get intrigued? How did you get interested in Baul music? Uh, you know, since my childhood, uh, I wanted, my parents wanted me to be a singer. So I was learning vocal music then. And I also learned harmonium and tabla just to enhance my vocal music, you know. So being a Bengali and traveling frequently uh, to nearby places in my childhood, I came across 
bowls who would do there is a term called madhukori the bowls would sing in the train in 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 the platforms in in the in in uh, your locality and uh, they will take uh, you know arms like you know uh, some rice some some food products but they will sing for you and very little money in the train maybe 50 bucks or sometimes 100 quid uh, they will get but they will sing so that was my first exposure to bowl music and i was drawn towards uh, their musicianship they're singing at the same time playing a komok or playing a dubki or playing a ektara or sometimes playing a dutara you know this combination that how they are singing at the same time playing i was drawn towards their their uh, whole presentation of amazing musicianship and as I, as i grew older i started realizing that uh, baul music is a philosophy a world that teaches you a uh, universal brotherhood you know which teaches you the power to give you know and their definition of womanhood their definition of a guru their definition of the way you are this is so unique that this by itself is uh, like a, a book of knowledge that if you analyze one song your life will pass by you know that was the realization which i had at a very young age and few songs struck me and then uh, i started uh, my association with the bowls you know but when i started traveling as a classical musician i saw african musicians being showcased in sacred music festivals in world music festivals very few bowls almost none were represented so i realized that language is not the thing the representation is the thing that no one is thinking to take up this music seriously and present it to the world you know very few bowls are well known in the west in the festival circuit you can name one or two bowls only but there are hundreds who are unique some of the greatest and no one knows them so that's how my idea came that this philosophy this music has to reach to uh, the younger people so they get they get some light at the end of the tunnel to lead their life even out of 100 if there are five handful of young people you know so that's how my bowl and beyond struck me that i will design the music in a way that the familiar sounds that will attract young boys and girls you know like a lead guitar or a bass guitar or a drum kit or a latin american percussion but there will also be a tabla, there will also be a dotara, there will also be a komok and ektara, and then the song. You know, that's how it started. And I feel the most important part, which from the very beginning, I uh, am very vocal about it, that just like classical music, if you want to adopt their way of life, you have to do shadhu shango which means basically you have to be with them, do seva to them, you have to serve them, you know, and then very little the guru will pass on to you. You have to be happy with it. It is not like popular music that you buy a CD. If you are a talented artist, you just, you know, learn the song and start performing. Just like classical music, folk music, many people, they don't get it which hurts me that folk music is also a, a philosophy, a way of life. You have to do Shadhu Shango, you have to do Guru Shango. And then that kind of prepares your mind, that prepares your soul. You know, when you are with your Guru, you learn things, you learn to surrender to your Guru. You don't, you just do Seva, your life 
is for your guru and then the little that the guru imparts with you his knowledge his songs that is your treasure so i keep telling this to many young people who uh, uh, sings uh, folk songs i said this is just not it because you True. have to i have to first ask you how many years have you spent in akhna in a hermitage with your guru i will not accept you as a folk singer unless and until you tell me oh i have spent 10 years with my guru in akhra then i will accept you as a folk artist otherwise i will not you are just another singer learning the song True. from from a cd and then delivering it no philosophy no way of life no thinking so that is my uh, thinking so uh, one thing to my that uh, my understanding is you have uh, i mean you accompanied uh, so many maestros and you are yourself you i mean your contribution your own contribution is even so tremendous you then you started talton tro uh, which has a global vision and like you mentioned you tried with different african instruments and you accompanied Munabur Ali Khan Sahib, we, we talked about this in Bedigula Mali, which uh, is uh, right. uh, Bharat Centenary before. You accompanied uh, Pandit uh, Ravi Shankarji. Ravi Shankarji loved your company. And I saw you accompanying uh, uh, Subramaniamji. Subramaniamji also loved your company. As a, as a great and, you know, the foremost musician, definitely, but perhaps as a wonderful human being as well. Mm. But my understanding is my, uh, what I think, uh, because obviously your contribution is shaping in completely different direction now for your interests, for your diverse interests. There are many classical musicians, but they are very traditional musicians, but you have such a diverse interest in on almost omnivorous interest in world music, for an example, because you try with different kinds of rhythm and Tantantra could be a, 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 you know, a platform that can be the part of history through uh, whatever grand activities you are doing. But could you perhaps tell us a bit more on, like you mentioned about the idea of gurus, uh, uh, especially in uh, in many of our audiences or many of our readers, perhaps, uh, will think gurus, the idea of gurus in Indian classical music. But then again, the similar idea also lying in Greek mythology, for example, we, we know Socrates and Plato. Socrates uh, passed uh, his knowledge to Plato and Plato then preached uh, that knowledge to to the rest of the world. Could, could Guru be the salvation of the spiritual queries as well, or just, just, the, just the musicianship, just, just past the music, musical knowledge? Or could the Guru, like you mentioned in Baul Karana, Baul uh, philosophy, Guru always mentor his or her disciple the way of life as well? But does it exist in Indian classical music as well? Does Guru... Yes. So did you, did you have uh, that, I know that you learned from Pundit Shankar Goshi, another legend. Uh, uh, did, you, did you think that the Gurus also shaped your uh, lifestyle? Not just as a musician, yes. but also yes. given the philosophy. And are you preaching this as well? Are you preaching? Uh, the same thing to you, students. Yes. Uh, let me tell you, let me share. There is an old proverb within uh, well-known musicians. The proverb is in Hindi. Pani piyo chan ke. You drink mm -hmm. the water after filtering it. And guru karo jaan ke. So you have to choose the guru very carefully to whom to surrender. Jaisa, you have to filter the water and drink. 
you have to choose the guru after you know judging that how if he is the right guru for you you know i had been very lucky that i was very young when i went to pandit kanai datta and then eventually to the pandit shankar ghosh and all the great masters from ustad munawwar ali khan sahab ustad imrat khan sahab and uh, pandit vg jog ustad amjad ali khan sahab uh, you know all these also pandit ravi shankar ji dr l subramaniam all the masters that i have come across whom from whom i have learned i have spent time i have been richer i had been lucky that i learned so much from each one of them that is also because uh, you know uh, if you are ready to accept you are ready to learn and you have the power to surrender then you learn then what what happens is you see things which you didn't know you hear things which you didn't know and if you analyze and you have a mind to learn then you learn every moment and of course if you are lucky then you are in good hands i'm not saying there are stories that uh, students had been uh, has been abused not being taught properly by gurus that is a different uh, story altogether but if you are lucky then you get into good hands of the good gurus like the great masters of indian classical music baba alauddin khan you know ustad hafiz ali yeah. khan yeah then you know ustad bade gulam ali khan sahab then great guru uh, padma bhushan gan prakash ghosh ji for whom this music has spread for whom bal uh, sawai gandharva you know all these great masters who were great human beings good souls they imparted knowledge you know i had been lucky that uh, i was in good hands and the same thing i noticed with the bauls right. they have nothing to lose you know my my extension of my experience goes to our you know ancestral my grandfather's uh, native land of the great bangladesh you know our family comes from bangladesh wow. my grandfather was born there in dhaka bikrampur and wow. so from my childhood uh, i had been my grandmother was from borishal you know wow. and, and uh, my mother's father was from rajshahi and so my whole family roots were there so i don't know if uh, something has to do with uh, uh, with the genes that from my childhood i always felt a urge to go there to to experience bangladesh you know so when i started going there i tell you ahmed ji that the folk music is a different story there in bangladesh True. some of the greatest bauls some of the greatest fakirs you know unbelievable my eyes opened my heart was i i was full with the love and knowledge that i have seen with some of the great great masters their musicianship their writing what they are saying their analysis how they explained the meaning of each song that is an extension that is another world you know so i think this is a, unfortunately i am not a full time folk artist i wish in my next life i'm sure i'm going to be a folk artist and i'll be born in bangladesh how beautiful is that you know how i want to be born in bangladesh because i have spent so many hours with rob bhai rob fakir <laughs> so many hours with sophie bhai so many hours with kangalini sufi ama you know all these great masters you know playing playing the dotara self made dotara of rob bhai i still remember 
and then singing his own compositions. I am questioning him in Anushe's house, in Anushe Anadil's house. I am questioning him about the analysis of certain songs. So I get his knowledge. It's a different story. So to the younger generation, all I want to say that uh, this, is a, this is an ocean, just like classical music. I am wow. lucky that I got the right gurus. Choose your guru, judge the person that you want to surrender yourself if he's right for you. And if, he, if you think he's right, then close your eyes and surrender yourself. Spend 10, 15 years with, with him. Then, then you will turn gold. If you were there with your guru for 10, 15 years, then you turn gold. And you have to travel to the Akras, Shadhu Shangos. Oh my God, in Murshidabad, in Bangladesh. Shadhu, it's a different story, Ahmedji, you know. What beautiful, beautiful heart. What beautiful people they are. You know, they don't, themselves don't have anything much to eat. They will still offer you to eat. They will borrow. And that is a, like a lavish lunch, a lavish dinner, unlimited food. But probably they, their means are very limited. But the day, the day they are inviting you, they are going out of their way to do the Mehman Nawazi, like wow. treating the guest. Unbelievable, Tanmada. Unbelievable. This is a, I mean, uh, it is unbelievable, incredible to me because Pandit Tanmoy was one of the uh, torchbearer of Hindustani classical tabla at this moment. He's saying, is singing in the praise of Baul philosophy and Baul music as well, equally. Uh, that, is perhaps a, that is perhaps a new dimension to uh, your music, Tanmoy. That, that is what I believe, especially if Rabindranath would write uh, how Jivananda was writing, or modern poet was writing, he wouldn't uh, he wouldn't get the attention from the rest of the world. He he found the mystic philosophy of India and especially Bengal, and you know I, I'm fortunate that I'm Bengali, and perhaps Tonmoida, this is something for you to. Like you mentioned, when you went to Africa, for an example, when you went went to the when you visited, toured, traveled rest of the world, you found a unique missing in world music, which is Baul music, and this is something that you thought you could contribute because you are a son of Bengal, and you are so much connected to uh, to this music actually. Uh, another thing that I, uh, well, I would like to end up with your own take on Lalan, because you mentioned ah. about the meaning of meaning of music, and perhaps and I talked to you over the phone, and then I, I was personally enthralled by your own take on Lalan and, and, and you know, other vowels. But uh, one thing, Tonmoy, that, that is something that I query sometime, and then I always would like to know, uh, from a musician like you, because you are at the height of the fame. Uh, as a musician, perhaps you don't need to earn any more fame. Everybody, every corner of the world knows your name, listen to you at least. And when someone stays at the height of the fame, what do they look for at the next level? Especially from, from your point of view, because I don't think you need to gain any more fame. God has given you uh, that level of exposure. People find your music remedy, and especially the musicians you accompanied with, they found you such a right a company to, to present their music. But what is next? I mean, uh, does fame give you satisfaction? Uh, and because you are into Baul music, that's why I need to, and Baul philosophy, that's why I need to have your personal input 
at this level. MHG, just two things I just want to tell you that, you know, You listen to Baul music, I know. You know Fokiri songs. And therefore, you also know the whole philosophy that no matter what you earn, everything will be left behind and you are going to go. You know, so... You have to celebrate life and you have to try to contribute, give back. That's my philosophy, what I have learned with these greatest bowels. Me being a classical musician, I have always noticed that was one another point that I have seen the kind of fame, the kind of money, the kind of, uh, you know, uh, how do you say, uh, the kind of uh, exposure the classical musicians get. I have seen the greatest musicians, the Baul musicians, they get nothing. But they have no complaints. They are happy. Singing all night in a Akhra. That is the key to their happiness. That they expect nothing. They just share their music and philosophy. You know, they expect nothing from you. If you give them something, they are happy. If you don't give them something, they are not unhappy. I don't know if I should say this, but every other music in the world, musicians has got a facade. They have got, they have got an infrastructure, the secretary, the management, they earn millions out of the people who loves music. Then the musician has their, have their cup, their share of the money. But I tell you, these musicians, the Baul music, the Baul and Fakirs, I see, they want nothing. Even if I have with me, I have traveled with few Baul and Fakir musicians out of India to America, to England, to Europe. I tell you, there is one Fakir, Akas, Akas Ali. I love him. You know, he's a fantastic singer. So I was in Madrid with him, in Madrid and then Barcelona, few places in Europe. So I, we were staying in, in a five-star hotel. I went out for dinner, I came back and I see him. It was post, post midnight in Madrid. And he was walking in the pavement in front of the hotel. I got very scared because he doesn't speak English. I was very scared and so I ran to him. I said, Ki Akash, bhai tui ki koro? Shekhane ghure bera chyosh. You are walking, you know, police can come to uh, five star hotel. Am I bolche? Oh Guruji, Dada Amar Dom Bondo Hajai. A hotel and mud demi thakte parina. A ghore mud de thakte parina. And I felt like crying. You know, I just hugged him and I said, Kami Tur Shange Thakbo Chol Amra lobby te boshe katabo shararatro. Lobite ami aro hotel er lobby te sara ratro bhor porjonto boshe chilam madrid e ar jokhon jokhon o biri khete bhalobashche tokhon tokhon ami aro pavement e berochhi rastay footpath e smoke o khacche khe abar or shonge eshe i i sat with him that is the beauty that is the way they are they don't care if it is five star seven star big limousine big hall all they know is the little dal bhat you know rice and lentil and some vegetables they are happy 
they don't care if it is Europe or America or London or anywhere in the world. They just want to sing. That is their criteria. We are the one who do management programming, who do presentation programming with them. Those poor souls, I shouldn't say poor, they are the richest souls. They don't care about these worldly things. We do. That is why we, we could not reach the pinnacle of musicianship, which they did. You know, I have greatest admiration and respect for the Bauls and Fokirs of Bengal. I'm talking about United Bengal, both Bangladesh and West Bengal. You know, they are my truest guru. They are, my, they are the people who showed me the path I should tread. You know, I concentrate on teaching. Now, I have a number of young boys and girls who play, who sing, and I give them time because I know that is what I learned from them. You know, Shotto Pothe Ke Unoy Raji, Shabhi Dekhi Tana Nana. Kya ba, kya ba, Shabhi Dekhi Tana Nana. You know, Tanmayla, how beautifully, how beautifully described. One thing that I perhaps uh, mentioned to you, you know, so the Society of Poetry and Indian Music, which is uh, a leading platform for the promotion of Indian classical and global music here in uh, the organization that I direct. But apart from this, we do a festival called Baud and Bushnob Music Festival, Baud and Bushnob. Just yeah, to you promote, told me, I remember. Just to promote the beauty of Baud and Bushnob. And like sure. you mentioned, uh, the uh, the beauty of this philosophy, we like to see you, the, 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 the things that you mentioned, the preaching is also important part. So the, we need to be the ambassador and especially when a, a musician like you back up this philosophy, back up this music, uh, that is a ray of hope perhaps and for us to spread the beauty of this philosophy and music to the rest of the world. One other thing that I uh, I personally would like to uh, ask you, that is perhaps a something I know that uh, you mentioned about the, uh, the a bit about the philosophy of Baal because Baal came, Baal philosophy is a combination of so many other things as well, Zarathustrian philosophy, Parsian philosophy, everything merged. Bushno philosophy, everything merged in it. And then we, in Persian philosophy, a terminology called mushahada. And every time, I, let me tell you one thing. Every time I talk to you, I find yourself as a person that Maslow, another great uh, theorist who, who said about actual, actual self-actualization process. So through because while I'm talking to you, that shows how much you talk to yourself for you, for you to be the person what you are now. So we need to create a dialogue, uh, and that Bowles always did, and that is called Mushahada. Uh, um, and, and then perhaps the devotion that you have, uh, I, I know that you, have very, you are a very spiritual person, and you have a side of devotion. But one thing that I, I like to ask you, for Western audiences, whenever we do, for an example, uh, Indian classical music event, we get, we receive, especially in, uh, you perform so many times in Royal Festival Hall, Royal Albert Hall. So we get more than ever, now 70% audiences from non-Asian background. But because this music is so devotional and, and so is Baul and Pushnam, this is very devotional music. And Western audiences are not that devotional. So would you think the music that you do, it has to have a connection to the devotion and spirituality or anyone, it can be this, this music is, can be the source of meditation for anyone from any, uh, any background, even though they don't believe in devotion. And especially, I, I'd like to give you some clues actually, because uh, while I was talking to you the other day, you mentioned one thing, Dhoni, you, you worked with Dhoni as well. So Dhoni in our old scripture, ancient scripture, it says, Dhoni itself a Brahma, Dhoni is God. So whenever we, we live in a, 
uh, in a world of noise. And as a musician, you try to find it, find it, and refine and refine and refine. Uh, and the more refined uh, sound you you develop, the more uh, the, the greater musician you are. So why do you refine this sound? Is it because you try to make a connection to Brahmo? Because sound itself is a Brahmo, and then that is your shadhana to to refine this doni uh, to touch the beauty of uh, God or Brahmo himself. I mean, what you were asking is, uh, this is a profound question, what you asked me. And I am not even closer to achieving the Shabda Brahmo, the whole concept of the universe, the sound is God. You know, but I, this I can say that in my life, my association with the Fakirs, with the Bauls, and their analysis of lines from Radha Ramon, you know, lines from Shaiji. I you know, curate they have a festival called my life. I'll curate a festival called Radha Ramon Festival here in uh, Oh, I see. Somewhere. I see. Uh, they have curious. they have changed my life, my thought process. You know, I still remember I uh, I heard this song Shahoj Manush Bhoje Dakna Ramon Dibbogane. Pabire Amullo Nidhi, Bortomani. You know, this, these are the lines which helped me to build up my mind and uh, my path, which path I want to take. Frankly, Ahmedji, I don't really care much about now that, uh, you know, uh, about many worldly things that I might get, you know, but I really, really want to see before I am gone a day when the bowels and fokids are given the great, the same respect like any other form of musicians, the kind of money, the kind of uh, glitter, everything, the luxuries of life, what they enjoy, the bowels and fokids enjoy, they want, deserve it more than anybody. Because they carry out, you know, in today's time, their concept of universal brotherhood, their concept of everything is nirakar, you know, and there is no Hinduism, no Islam, no Christianity. There is one religion that is manhood. You know, Manush Shabar Upore, Tumra Bhaga Bhagi Kurcho. You know? True, true, true. That word. Hmm. Joto Shab Doladoli Tumari Karun. You know? So I think. To me, uh, I think I am searching, if you ask me honestly, I am searching not for my success. I'm searching a way, frankly, that if I could do little more seva to bring up this philosophy in, in public more. You know, I want future generations to value the, the whole world of Bauls and Fakirs. The urban people still don't realize that what they're losing. In our country, they don't realize that the what treasure the Bauls and Fakirs have. I want to, in my own little capacity, I want to push it. And if I can see two people dedicating their life to take the the agenda of promoting the bowels and fakirs further, I will feel that I have done something. That is my only goal. I don't really no, care you, because you have done, you, you have done so much, Tanmada. You no, I, I want mean, to you do are more, really. part of history as well. One one son from Bengal, I'm sure you have heard about him. He died recently. 
Sudhir Chakraborty, who did huge research on uh, Baul and Bushnell philosophy. And then uh, I find your contribution, especially uh, with the world exposure, Tonmadam. I mean, because obviously you have, you research like others, but the world exposure you have, whenever you say something, whenever you defend a Baul musician, whenever you bow your head to a Baul, that means a lot. That gives a, a profound message to the rest of the world that this musician has the equal dexterity like others. And that is very important. And that intrigues me hugely and immensely. Uh, one other thing that uh, uh, obviously we talked about Baul and we have to end up this session. So one other thing that uh, I personally would like to uh, uh, Ask you actually. Whenever I I felt I talk to you, I felt I need to ask you. Uh, did you? What is your perhaps? Let me tell. Um, let me ask you a very direct question. What did you accompanied as an accompanist? You were first choice of uh, uh, Ravi Shankarji, even Subramaniam Ji, and many other maestros, Amjad Ali Khanji, Munabur Ali Khanji. You, 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 you had a world tour with Munabur Ali Khanji. You gave so much opportunity. Uh, you were blessed by uh, by the uh, by the association of uh, many uh, god of uh, Indian classical music. But my uh, my, uh, whenever I feel, whenever it comes to tobla as a solo instrument, because tobla has to replicate or emulsify or perhaps emulate the, in my understanding, whenever I listen to tobla as a solo instrument, I, I would like to see all the surreal sound that is happening and transcended the world whether this instrument can carry and convey that profound sound of spiritual, profound spiritual sound as well. Did you try to uh, develop tobla to replicate that spiritual sound and, 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 and to stand tobla as a, as, an, uh, as a solo instrument as well so that people who have burning and uh, burning heart or suffer so they can relate to uh, tobla almost like other instruments? Uh, I have not reached that stage yet. You know, this is a lifetime's sadhana. When each stroke, if you produce it with your hands, that is Brahmo. You know, that is the sound of the universe that only happens to the lucky few great masters who will devote their life in riyas and sadhana. You know, this is, this is, this can come, I think, by the time you reach the end of your life. And if you still, if you are lucky to have continued your sadhana and riyas, then probably that one stroke from your hands can connect to, to spirituality. You know, because you have to understand what I understand that sound is, is connecting to the universe, Shabda Brahmo. We don't have lyrics, sound. There are sounds of uh, water, wind, desert, ocean, rivers, so you have to connect the sound to the universe that can only come with sadhana and self analysis you know you have to look inside and then again this concept of shabda brahmo helped me to understand myself with my association with folk artists the selflessness you know it is a lifetime's hard work to reach that stage. I remember Tin Korida. I remember Gaur Khapa. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Uh -huh. All these great masters. You know, I feel sad when I see that they got, they got nothing compared to their musicianship, 
compared to their knowledge, what they gave to the world, they got nothing. You know, but I know they are the people who got, who achieved Shabda Brahmo. I know their song connected, their music connected to the great universe and to the Almighty in whichever form he might be. You know, I know your music, their music. Your music too, Tanmuda. Um, you are a very modest man. Your music too. I, I was asking you this question just for the listeners who are listening, perhaps for the next generation of, of course. Tanmuda, for next generation of musicians, so that they can get inspiration from, from sure. this. And sure. Uh, I'm sure your music is also connecting spiritually, devotionally to many audiences like myself. I'm a firm admirer of your music. I'm a firm admirer of your experiments that you have been doing for uh, last many years, and your unique contribution, which is which is Baal and Christian philosophy, that perhaps shaping your music, uh, uh, then I mean quite quite uniquely, quite extraordinarily uh, than others. Uh, let you. us perhaps let us perhaps uh, end up with your own input. On Lalan. Lalan is almost my all time favorite philosopher, guru, and, and his lyrics is still a source of inspiration for me. And that was even, even Tagore was, himself was so much, I mean, I should say, immensely inspired by uh, Lalan's philosophy and lyrics. So let us perhaps explore briefly your own intake on Lalan. And it would be great, uh, if because you you, uh, you learned vocal music as well. If you kindly sing what, you know, from Lalan, two or three lines from Lalan, we have to end up this session. Okay. Uh, okay, can... I have no words to explain how I feel about Shaiji. It's beyond my words and I dare not evaluate or say a word about him because he is my philosopher my guide i uh, three years ago before the pandemic the year before the pandemic i was in kushtia so i my free time what i do is i collected the shaiji's uh, collection from the lalun Purishad prakashuni in kushtia so my free time, what I do is I go through those books and I see what he has written. You don't have to read any book of knowledge. All you have to do is to go through Shaiji's songs and uh -huh. try to analyze and ask for explanation from great bowels and fakirs. So Shaiji, I, I dare not say a word about him. He is my philosopher. He is my God. You know, I, I actually think that Shaiji uh, will take me through to, the, to this journey, through this journey. You know, and uh, mm, that, that few, two, three lines, I just... Uh, want to share Ahmedji before uh, we, we say goodbye that you know uh, like this this line you know Brahm Bhunchan Dal Chamar Muchi Ak Jale Shakoler Suchi Brahm Bhunchan Dal Chamar Muchi Ak Jale Shakoler Suchi देखे सुने होय ना रुचि सभी देखी ताना नाना जात गेलो जात गेलो बोले एकिया जब कर खाना जात गेलो जात गेलो बोले यू नो थिंक अबाउट द लाइंस व्हाट ही इज सेइंग no, it, it is about equality. It is about lo love, unconditional love. There is no country, there is no religion, there is no killing, there is only love. That is Shaiji. You know, he is our God. He is the person who will take me through. And I want to live like that. And next, my next aspiration, I pray 
that's next life i want to be born as a baul and in bangladesh so i go back to my roots where my grandfather was born i want to be born in that land i know the greatest of classical musicians the greatest of baul folkers the greatest of writers you talk about jibon anando you talk about uh 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 for an example shotojit rai you know you 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 name rithik ghatok kabalauddin khan you name rithik ghatok you know you just name the greatest of um, musicians baul fakirs classical musician you know that land has got something vilayat khan was born in gaudipur true you know and uh-huh. all that land has something which with with the water with the sweetness no one no other no other earth can match that i want to be born back to my ancestral land in my next wow. life <laughs> how beautiful how beautiful love and respect from this magical land because thank i you. i thank came you, from the land you mentioned um so um, and perhaps let us born again Yes. On that land, on that, and then uh, yes. let us have the. Thank uh, you for talking to me, spending this time. <laughs> so it we had, will speak soon. had a wonderful time, and I'm sure, uh, especially uh, Baul and Bushro Music Festival will be blessed by your presence soon when the COVID is over, and then we can plan. Yes, yes. Especially, I count you as the ambassador, Tonmada, as a preacher of this philosophy. whenever you whenever you played classical music you were you were a preacher and then you also uh, experimented with so many different things because you have great curiosity perhaps uh, whenever you uh, i mean african instrument latin american instrument you tried with them but your interest in baul philosophy and vaishnav philosophy uh, that is perhaps a unique thing and um, you know let me venerate to your interest and the contribution you've been making every single day thank you that. and and uh, and uh, look forward to welcoming you here in the uk as part of baul and bushra music festival and my dad definitely uh, have, a, have a good help and have a wonderful thank you respect. take care amit ji and we yes. will talk because you know we are in touch exactly. so we will exactly. talk thank exactly. you joy thank guru you